Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create either a digital or a physical product within system.io and then how you can actually sell that through a sales funnel. Hi, I'm Brandon. If you get any value out of today's video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that all important notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video to this channel. But the first product that I'm going to demonstrate is actually the physical product. So if you head up to products, go and select physical products and then we'll go select create and you can give your product a name t-shirts and here you can put in a description t-shirts you can put in an sku this is automatically generated for you or you can go and edit that as you wish you can set up a tax amount you can also set up a currency what I want to note here is that this currency is pretty important in relation to the actual funnel we're going to create later that when you're going to assign a product to your sales funnel, it'll only pick up products that are in the same currency as what you configure for your funnel. So just bear that in mind. If you're in Euro, then that's okay. If not, and you want something like the US dollar, go and select US dollar and you will set up a price and let's say it's going to be $20. And here you can upload any images for your product. If we go and select that, Go and select blue you can go and upload that and i can select another product in this case i'm going to select a black t-shirt and we can upload that next we can go and select options if there are various options so in the case of a t-shirt you would have different sizes and you would have different colors in this case so we will go and select that so we'll go and select so what is important to note here is you can have three different options you can have up to a hundred different variants though per option so here we will go and select blue option we'll select sorry we'll go and select color and the options here will be blue or black and here you can see it already starts to generate the different SKUs for us and if we want to add another option as in size and we would go small medium large extra large you get the idea and here you'll see more and more variants get added and each will have their own skew which you could then go and edit if you wanted to have something else All right so we'll go and select save and here you can see we have our first set of physical products that have been created so next up we're going to go create a digital product so if you head back under products you can either go and create a course or a community Within system.io, those are both digital products. And the third digital product that you could potentially create is if you were going to be creating something like an ebook that you were then going to be selling, you would head over to contacts and you would go and create a tag that pertains to that ebook. It'll make a little bit of, it'll make a little bit more sense later on when we get to the point where we're actually creating our sales funnel. But for now, if we were going to go create a course, we would just go select that. We'd go and add a new course, go and create all the contents, the lessons and the modules within that course. And then that course would then be available for sale within our sales funnel. The other side of things is if you wanted to go and create an actual community, you would head over there, go and create it. You'd give it a name. You would configure a domain for that community. And there would then also be a path that would just be the URL for it. And then define whether the posts were going to be automatically approved or not and then you would save that particular community and then that community would then be available for sale within your actual sales funnel now the other option there is if we're going to go create a tag and we'll head over there and we'll go create one and this one we will call it our ebook and we'll go and select save for now and this will be the tag that we'll use later on when we're actually creating our sales funnel and selling our ebook. So I mentioned earlier when creating the physical products that you needed to create your physical product in the same currency as what you're going to be selling on your actual sales funnel. This does not apply when you are creating tags. It'll default to euro to start off with. But even if you have set your sales funnel to say US dollars or any other currency, once you make your first sale through your sales funnel, that value will reflect here under sales and it will reflect in the currency of your actual sales funnel. Now, if you wanted to create additional digital products that you wanted to sell 
through your sales funnel, say like a masterclass or a challenge along those lines, then you would just head over and go and create a second tag for the masterclass and a third tag for the challenge, etc. Now the free plan only allows for you to create a single tag. You would need to upgrade to either the starter plan or one of the higher plans in order to create additional tags. And that is it for creating physical and digital products within system.io. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that all-important notification bell so you get notified the next time I upload any videos to this channel. If you have any comments, drop them in the description below, and I'll get back to you. Have a great day.